Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with TheHealthyHaven.net and AlkalizeWithAndrea.com. I wanted to do this quick little video for all of you today on genetically modified foods, GMOs. I get several emails about this every week through my website, TheHealthyHaven.net and also on Facebook and Twitter. And basically people want to know what is GMO, uh, genetically modified organism, and what does it mean? What foods are, uh, is it in, etc. And GMO is a food that has been altered by man. And there's been several studies done on this. And this is just without reading up on it. This is just explaining to you my own personal experience and, and what others have, have shared with me. They're just foods that are unfit for human consumption. They've been altered and they're in an altered state, therefore they alter us. So what that means is they're higher on the allergen lists. Um, some of common, the most, probably two most common GMO foods I know of are corn and soy. So I use something, um, sometimes I like a little uh, lecithin on my salads. I use a non-GMO lecithin and I still find I get a little nasally. So really research genetically modified foods and find out what foods you're eating if you're still eating, uh, you know, some standard American fare that GMOs are hidden into. I know canola is huge. Alfalfa is a GMO food. Soy, corn are GMO foods. And let's face it, folks, corn is in everything. Every packaged product on the market, like 90% of them have corn or soy. So, you know, let's be more careful. Studies have shown on rats that it, it causes uh, infant deaths. Um, uh, rats, certain body parts would change color. I mean, do the research, not a good thing. Genetically modified foods are nowhere in my kitchen, nor will they ever be. And I really feel like if you do some extended research, you'll find that it can lead to things like ADHD and kind of just an unsteadiness in the mind as well. Um, so definitely check uh, uh, out genetically modified foods online, do your research and, you know, be leery in the grocery stores. This is why I prefer to shop at farmer's markets and buy organic produce, locally grown, get to know your local farmer and, you know, try to avoid the genetically modified foods. Try to avoid the grocery store unless it's a GMO free grocery store. One little thing I do want to say here, and I'm not going to name any names, but <clears throat> about a year ago, I was in a grocery store and it's a non-GMO grocery store. Everything in there is supposed to be non-GMO. And I looked on their soup base and it was like maltodextrin, soy, etc., in their soup base. And last time I checked, that's all GMO'd. So I called it to the management, uh, their attention and, you know, not sure if they've changed it since, but I'll definitely check and I'll post below on, on that feedback I get. Andrea Cox here with thehealthyhaven.net. Hey, I hope you like this video. And if you do hit the like button and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. We teach you about what not to eat. Be well.